analysis of the Lincoln County Board of Education financial performance provides an overview, overview of the board's financial activities for the fiscal year into June 30th of 2012. Please read and discuss, please read this discussion and analysis in conjunction with the board's basic financial statements, which are presented immediately following this management's discussion and analysis. So the financial highlights. The board's assets exceeded liabilities by $56.8 million at the close of the most recent fiscal year. The board's total net assets increased by $7.1 million as compared to fiscal year 11. This increase is due mostly to Senate Bill 469, which was passed by the West Virginia Legislature's legislature in February of 2012, which renewed, removed the porch, she don't want to put my glasses on, <laughs> which removed the portion of prior year OPEB liabilities, and we all remember what OPEB is, related to the personnel funded through the formula. This was implemented by means of credits issued to each board for fiscal years 2008, 9, 10, and 11, for a total of $6.2 million and only affects the general fund. And as I talk tonight, I'm just going to talk about the general fund because all the other funds are you know, self-balancing and don't really worry so much about those. Um, at the close of the current fiscal year, the board's government funds, now, now I'm going to talk about all of them, reported a combined ending fund balance of $949,409, an increase of $4.4 million in comparison with the prior year. Approximately zero of this total amount is, is available for spending at the board's discretion. At the end of the current fiscal year, unassigned fund balance for the general fund was zero, an increase of $3.5 million as compared to the unassigned general fund balance of the prior year. GASB 54 was implemented effective July 1 of 2010 and is reflected in the new fund classifications See note 1N in the notes to the financial statement. Due to, due to the implementation of GASB 54, certain items are not shown on financial statements if they create a negative fund balance. If all items were shown in the general fund balance, the fund balance would be a negative 1.7 million. If our current OPEB liability, which we still have an OPEB liability, of 2.7 2,022,269 were eliminated. The general fund balance would be, and I highlight it for you guys, $295,734. In order to see the true general fund, unassigned fund balance, the following chart has been prepared. Because, now last year, I just presented this according to GASB, and you know, there were some people who thought we had some money at the State Department, and we didn't have, because Gatsby says once you create a negative balance, you can't show all these other items, which I knew I had, you know, a bunch of money in uh, local projects, and I had some encumbrances, I had a lot of stuff that I couldn't show in the financial statements. So what I wanted to do is prepare it real clear this year so everyone can see what's going on. Before I did anything, when I did the revenues and expenditures, uh, liabilities and everything and meshed it all together, we ended up with a fund balance of $935,330. Okay, so once you get that number, then you have to start your allocations. You know, it's designated. Remember that for those of you who were around, you know, <coughs> reserve for encumbrances, reserve for excess levy, remember the, all those terms? So that's what I'm going to try to recreate here. So first of all, I want to back out that liability for OPEBs. So on our books, we still have $2 million for OPEBs. That's for the people who aren't funded through the formula, and they are either over the formula or they're funded through a state grant or a federal grant. But on our books, we are still going to carry $2 million. Now, I don't expect to ever pay this, but according to county procedures, it has to be reflected and shown as a liability. So in order to get us to where we want to be, I'm going to just add that back in it's not going to happen, so I want to get us to where we really need to be. So I'm going to add that back in. Then I know that I have some money that I can't spend, which is $55,246, which is on deposit with the new retirement board. And it is money that people 
when they leave and they're not vested in their retirement, that money after five years comes back to us. So we have a balance of $55,000 at the new retirement board. I also know that I have designated for the excess levy, according to the calls of the excess levy I have on hand, uh, $1.1 million. I also have in local projects $1.2 million. And I also have encumbrances that aren't included in those numbers above of $128,000. So my true fund balance is $295,000 when we go back to our old way of doing things. Okay, you know, you gave me this sheet which goes along with this, but you know, I have a question. Okay, <laughs> and we're gonna to have to go to the sheet <laughs> to get everybody where they need to be. Okay. <clears throat> The local projects, you know, you had given me this, and you had, <coughs> excuse me, you had it, uh, you said it was committed. Mm -hmm. uh, and so my question, because you, you've listed under here, Bertie, for mm -hmm. me, do you have that on a page that they can turn to, that they can look at? I don't know. That's a handout. Oh, okay. Am I ahead of you? Uh, that, that's where I'm going next. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I think that's where we need to be next. Okay. All right. I'll wait till they get theirs. <clears throat> Oh, well, you know what, let me, let me do a couple more things before I get there, Trish, because this, okay. will, this will wrap it up. Okay. Because um, I just thought about this. Uh, so we're going to go talk about the 295 later, but there's a couple other notes that I want you guys to know about. Um, on page the, five. What, what does the 295 represent? That is um, undes undesignated fund balance that we could spend for kind of anything. Is that like discretionary money? Yeah, but it's not. Well, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trick. We'll, we'll go back to that one yeah. later. Go ahead. Uh, turn to page five, and I put a note in here about um, parts PK8, and I think it's a good note for you guys to know at the very top, the second paragraph. During fiscal year ending June 30th of 2012, the Hearts PK-8 school uh, was completed and put into service. The total cost of the Hearts PK-8 project was $13.7 million. The school building authority funded $11.7 million. The county funded $1.1 million. QZAD bonds were used to fund $700,000 and various other sources funded the balance. The total cost of land and land improvements was $1.4 million, building $11 million, and the balance in furniture and fixtures. So I just wanted you to guys see that. And then uh, another one other item that you need to probably see. I have a question. There okay. was no funding left over from the Hearts Elementary. No. Uh, turn page 10. And this is how much we have at the bottom in our assets. Um, in land, we have 2.7 million. <coughs> Buildings, 50 million. Furniture and fixture, 1.6 million. And vehicles, 2 million. So just kind of want you to see, we do keep track of fixed assets. It's a big part of this financial statement. We depreciate and dispose of and recognize gains and losses. All kinds of good stuff. Okay, now. So now any my, questions? I was going to say, my questions, I would have asked you earlier, but I knew you were up there frantically. <laughs> so I'm going to skip as she gets to them. Okay. As she gets the All right. <laughs> so everyone's got one of these now? Jeff, you probably need one of these. Thank you. Um, okay, this kind of goes back and starts what I went over in the management discussion and analysis, we start out with that 935000 the very first column. We add back our OPEBs. And then we have our non-spendable of the 55000 We have our restricted for the excess levy of the $1.1 million. We have our local projects of $1.2 million. <coughs> the is of 37000 and 
some general fund encumbrances of 90,000, and that <coughs> gets me the two, to the 295. Okay. So, we didn't go into a deficit. So that's the good thing. But the bad thing is, in order to balance this year's budget, I had to say, well, we're going to have this much money, which I knew we wasn't going to, but we did. So, I had, when I did the budget for this year, I said, I need $1.4 million. That's on your next slide, line nine. Okay? Which means I have two options. I can either cut this year's budget, which I just don't see anywhere to cut, or I take it out of these other, some other items here. Okay? So instead of cutting the current year budget, I went up and I pulled three point or $352,000 out of the instructional levy. I pulled uh, $650,000 out of Medicaid. Bertie. Uh huh. Let me stop you. Okay. You pulled six hundred and fifty thousand out of Medicaid. That out of how much total did we have in Medicaid? Uh, there was seven hundred thousand in the balance. Okay. There was seven hundred left. And uh, you're you're saying <coughs> to us, I want to pull six hundred fifty thousand dollars of that Medicaid mm -hmm. over here and. And as they approve this, you're saying, I want you all to give me permission to do that in order to balance or pass. Okay. Which leaves 100 and some thousand of Medicaid. Yes. To be. Well, when he has about 50,000 left, I think, in Medicaid. So instead of having a. Um, Designated for Medicaid, seven hundred thousand. It's now going to be fifty thousand. And Medicaid, of course, belongs to the general fund, but we just account for it separately in one of those little, little local projects because I like to kind of keep track of it. And it's always been there as a reserve, and we use it as we need it. And so we need it this year for what, what, what do we need it for? To to balance this year's budget. Okay. Just everything in general. Uh, is it is it specific? Are we paying salaries? Are we paying well, utilities? What are we paying? Nothing specific. It just goes into the pot. Um, do, do you have a separate line item for Medicaid, and then when expenses are uh, it are coming out of that? Then we know, if I said, Bertie, what did you use Medicaid money for? Because we're taking it out of the, the, the line item and we're putting it over here in a, in a general fund. Yes. And I would say, what are we spending this for? You would be able to say, Trish, we spend it on salaries, we spend it on supplies. But, because, but I don't want to say supplies for teachers because they get plenty of supply money out of excess right. levy, right. right? It's mostly for salaries. That's where you know. That's where we're cleaning the money. Salaries. Oh, in, in our uh, uh, in our budget. In our yeah, because we're mostly in our our, our general seven. fund budget is basically salaries, salaries, maintenance, and transportation. That's our our big things. So what's going to happen, Trish? As long as it stays in the Medicaid in that little local project. I can tell you everything that Medicaid spent for, uh -huh. but what I'm doing now is I'm just putting it, I'm taking it out of that separate little bucket and I'm just putting it into the general fund bucket so and that it doesn't specifically get spent out for particular items, it just goes into the bucket. And usually the Medicaid is in the general fund anyway? So it, it is in the general fund, but it's in a line but item so that I can so account for it, every detail I, I can account for. The way it is, I have it set up as a little project. Right, she has it, it comes in separate. But you're asking to move it out of that into the general fund. fund. The, but we would not really know what it is. No, no, it's not designated for anything specific. The only thing is just to balance this year's budget. Instead of trying to cut a uh, million dollars out of this year's budget, I think it's better to just take the Medicaid money and, and balance this out this year. Because I don't really want to cut in the middle of the year. Was this something that's it's an ongoing thing that would be done from year to year? Oh, no, no, because it's not going to be there anymore, Steve. 
It's just accumulated over the years, and we were just lucky to have it there. Of course, you know, uh, you know. What does that mean next year then? We have to cut. We have to cut. <laughs> is Medicaid it's going up for isn't it? It is, but we've we're also uh, doing more and more things out of it. Uh, Jeremy's got a lot of uh, projects going out of Medicaid with our children with special needs. So he's already using a lot of it. So we're not going to have that surplus next year for Medicaid. Well, we won't have it because you pulled it over to... Uh, and it's just been accumulating. So now, you know, and this is the first time I've ever had to do this. Okay, so this... That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. This is the first time. The way I'm understanding this, and I could be wrong, is that we're borrowing from next year to balance this year. Um... No, no, we're not borrowing from next year. We actually we have use seven. last year's money, last year's money, to balance this year's budget. Is what we're doing. We actually have seven hundred and some thousand right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. of Medicaid in the Medicaid line item. Yeah, it wasn't spent; it was just hanging there, you know, in that account. And we now need that, so now I need to pull it into just the general fund to balance to balance this year's budget. So yeah. last year's money to balance this year's budget. So it's taken out of the savings account, more or less. There you go, yeah. It's been in the savings account, I need it. Or cut. Or cut this year's budget, yeah. The technology switches, which you have next, where did that come from? That was some old E-rate um, money that didn't come through, and Danny had to file an appeal on it, and I don't know, it's probably four or five years old, and we finally got the check for that. So, and I told Danny that I would probably need that. So I told him up front that we, I'd be taking that money. Is that is that considered federal? No, it's just um, it's it's just really a general fund revenue also that I kind of put in as little local projects to kind of keep track of. But, you know, a lot of county boards would have just thrown that into the general fund when they got it. But I just kind of like to keep track of separate things like that. So 